is here Worder qualification test record WQTR annex 9 Worder name IT number symbol identification WPS file load specification base matter where did wording variables listed by 6.2 and guided band test transfer side transfer root base and other test blah 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 this is WQTR okay this is chapter 6 I covered everything in chapter 6 uh, I'm gonna show you one sample question about the chapter 6 which is filometer the word used E4018 following in GWPS GTAW SMAWM2. Can he use E4016? Then this is E4018 and 4016. If you see this electrode for the SMAW, also you need to check this SMA, uh, GTAW SMAWM2 WPS, which is shown like. Oh, I don't have the uh, WPS. Something like this. E4018. Then you need to go to next two. Because chapter 6 says change in F number is requalification. Next two. Next two is F number table. So E4018. Problem says E4018. Two E4016. Let's find E4018. 18 not here but f number 4 here it's e x x can be e 40 18 here f number 4 but e 40 16 is right next to e 40 18 here so f number is not changed so e 40 18 uh, if you're qualified for E4018, you are also qualified for E4016. So in the problem, not this one. The welder E4018, can he use E4016? Yes, because F number is not changed. Okay, I'm gonna stop here for chapter 6. And I, uh, I covered all chapters in um, BOS, Book of Specification, CWF Part B, Chapter 2 to 6. Chapter 1 is not um, applicable for the exam, so you don't have to read out this Chapter 1. So 2 to 6, I covered all parts, all chapters. So I will finish my lecture here today. Thank you for listening my CWI Part B lectures and um, if you have any questions uh, let me know uh, my email address is P L E X A A or E this gmail.com P L E X A A at gmail.com let me know if you have any questions thank you